Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone How is everything today? I hope all of you are always happy and healthy And always in God Okay hey guys, welcome again with me, Mom Ellie Today we will talk about narrative text Do you know what is narrative text? Let's discuss about it Check it out The basic component is analyzing social function, structure text, and language feature of narrative text, both spoken and written. And then, the learning objective is, through discussion, the students are able to analyze about social function, text structure, and language feature of narrative text, both spoken and written. Hey everyone, before talking more about narrative text, I will show some pictures to all of you. And then please guess what is in the picture. Are you ready? Let's start discussing picture number one. Look at the picture number one. The first picture is, are you familiar with it? What is it? What is the title of the story? Well, you are right, 100 for you. The title of this story is about Maling Kunda. Well, let's continue discussing picture number two. Please look at the picture number two. Do you know who is he? And then, what is his job? And then, what is the title of the story? Well, bravo to all of you. You are right. The title of the story is about Toba Lake or Lake Toba. Well, let's continue discussing picture number three. Please look at the picture number three. Do you know who is he? And then, what is the title of the story? Well, you are right again. According to the picture I show to you, the story of the Narrative text is about Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. Okay, everyone, look at the last picture. Do you know about him? Who is he? What is the title of the story? Wow, you are right again. The story is about Aladdin. Okay, everyone, now let's discuss more about narrative text. Narrative text. Look at the definition of narrative text. The narrative text is a story with complication of problematic events and it tries to find the resolution to solve the problems. That is the definition. And then the purpose of narrative text is to amuse or to entertain the reader with a story. That is the purpose. And then there are generic structures of narrative text. There are four generic structures. The first is orientation. Orientation means the sets of the scene, where and when the story happened and introducing the participant of the story, like who and what is involved in the story. That is about orientation. The second generic structure is complication. Complication means the story that tells the beginning of the problems which leads to the crisis or climax of the main participants. There is complication. And then the third is resolution. Resolution means the problem or the crisis is resolved. Either it is happy ending or sad ending or tragic ending. And then the last is reorientation or it code by code. Yeah. This is a closing remark to the story and it is optional. Well, my dear students, so far, is it clear enough? Well, now let's continue by discussing language features. In narrative text, the language features are using action verb, for example, plunge, turn, browse, etc. And then using specific noun as pronoun of person, animal in the story, example, the king, the queen, etc. 
and then using adjectives which are for noun phrase for example long black hair two red apples etc another language features is using time connection and conjunctions to orient the event examples then before after soon etc using adverbs and adverbial phrase to show the location of event example here in the mountain ever after etc using dialogue to elicit an emotional response from the reader and then using past tense the last is using a priority sentence from the simple sentence up to complex sentences well my beloved student actually there are many different types of narratives for example folklore fairy tales historical fiction science fiction fable legend aboriginal dreaming stories romance novels and myth the example of indonesian folklore there are many kind example of indonesian folklore like the legend of tobale lutung kasarung roro jombrang timun mas the legend of sangkuriang keong mas bawang merah and bawang putih sindelaras the story of maling kundang and etc another example of fairy tales like cinderella Tambelina, Frog Prince, Godilock and the Three Bears, Hansel and Gretel, Jack and the Beanstalk, Pinocchio, etc. Example of historical fiction are cerita sejarah Prabu Siliwangi kerajaan kerajaan Pajajaran, sejarah agama Hindu di Bali, cerita sejarah pantai Widuri Pamalang, etc. Example of science fiction are uh, like District 9, The Second Renaissance, Gears of War, etc. Example of original dreaming stories are Belamundi, The Lagoon and Daro, The Pretipus Story, etc. Example of romance novel Under the Big Top, To Be Alone, A Memory of Kira Foko, with a kiss, rindu depan, dendam, falling in love, etc. Example of myth are Mon Bromo, Niroroki Duo, Most Dear and Other Child, The Queen in Certain Sea, etc. Well, my beloved students, that's all the explanation about narrative text. So far, any problem? I hope all of you can understand enough about my explanation of narrative text. Well, my dear students, now let's discuss one example about fairy tales. It is very famous. I believe all of you know it well, especially for the ladies. Well, look at the picture I saw to you. Are you familiar with her? Who is he? Yes, you are right. Yes, she is Cinderella. Do you know the story about Cinderella? Let's find out the story of Cinderella. Guys, please listen to me. I will read the story of Cinderella. Okay, you ready? Yeah, listen to me, please. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Cinderella. She was pretty, loving, and clever, but she was very poor. She lived with her stepmother and stepsisters. They were very mean. They helped Cinderella very much. Fortunately, she met a prince. He fell in love with her. Then. Cinderella became a princess. They live happily ever after. Well, 
very romantic story, isn't it? Okay, my group students, that is about a example of fairy tale Cinderella. Do you understand about it? Thank you so much. And to, to find out whether you understand about Cinderella story or not, I have some questions and please answer the question well. Are you ready to answer the question? Look at the question number one. Please answer the question based on the story. With whom did Cinderella live? Ah, you are right. She lived with her stepmother and stepsisters. And then, how did Cinderella look like? Yes, you are right. She was pretty, lovely, and clever, of course. And then, were her stepmother and her stepsister friendly? Yes, you are right. Of course. No, they weren't. The next question is, when did the story happen? The answer is, long time ago. And then, why? The her stepsister hates Cinderella. Do you know why? Why did her stepsister hate Cinderella? Of course, because she was pretty, loving, and clever. Next question is, who fell in love with Cinderella? Do you know who? Yes, you are right. The answer is the prince. And then, I want to know your opinion. In your opinion, is the story happy ending or sad ending? Wow, you are right. Of course, the end of the story is happy ending. Well, my beloved students, that's all about narrative text. So far, any question? I hope no. My explanation is short, simple, and clear enough, isn't it? Okay guys, now let's continue. Let's analyze about the story of Cinderella. Look at again the text of Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Cinderella. She was pretty, loving, and clever. But she was very poor. She lived with her stepmother and stepsisters. They were very mean. Okay guys, can you mention who are or who is the specific participants here? Yes, you are right. Yeah, the specific participants here is Cinderella. And then please analyze which one belong to action food. The action verb here is lift. And then please identify which one belong to past tense. Ah, there are many verbs belong to past tense. Like cold and then was and then lift and then were. And then in the sentence of they hated Cinderella very much. Fortunately, she met a prince. He fell in love with her. Then Cinderella became a princess. Guys, which one belong to action food? Yes, there are met and fell that belong to action food. Which one belong to mental? Yeah, mental here is Hated. After analyzing the story of narrative text, let's find out the generic structure. Do you remember what do belong to generic structure? There are four generic structure. Do you remember? The first is orientation, second is evaluation, 
third is complication and then fourth is resolution and the last the last is of course reorientation or coda okay the generic, generic structure the number one is orientation can you mention what is the orientation of Cinderella story the orientation is once upon a time there was a little girl called Cinderella and then what is the evaluation the evaluation here is she was pretty loving and clever what are the complication the complications are but she was very poor she lived with her stepmother and stepsisters they were very mean and what is the resolution the resolution here is fortunately she met a prince he fell in love with her and then the last is there any reorientation or coda here of course there is a reorientation in this story the reorientation is then Cinderella became a princess okay everyone is it enough I hope you can understand well about narrative text and you can learn more about it by yourself in your home okay guys before closing our meeting today I have the individual work for you uh, please try yeah try to do the individual work by yourself yeah you can ask your friend maybe if you have a problem or you can ask your teacher later I will give you some pictures and then please combine the pictures become a story of Cinderella by using your own words okay my beloved students that's all from me I hope you can understand enough about narrative text see you again next meeting yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh keep healthy healthy start from ourselves